What we're going to do now is we're going to start at the end and then see how to accomplish the task, which is moving the point around, move the target around, and have the point chase the target. See what bigger tasks we need to accomplish, and then later we'll go and accomplish those tasks in a reasonable way. So here we're looking at public static void main. So I have a Boolean to turn on or off chase mode right here. And again, let's go ahead and run this so you can see what this is chase mode is true. The point's going to chase the target. Now in this version, I don't have the target moved to a new location, but you can see the distance value up here. Let's go ahead and change this to false and run it. You're going to see the point just move around. The point does get a label on it and just went off the screen, but the point has a label that moves with the point. It's moving different than it was last time. I have a method called create drawing panel, which does several things. Uh, you'll see this later, but it will create the drawing panel, set the background and do, I think it zooms it as well. Made a new random object. We need this to place the point and the target randomly on the screen. Here I create two points. One is called dot, the black dot. One's called target, the red target. Now the reason I have speed right here uh, different from DX and DY is because the vertical and horizontal speed won't always be the same. So sometimes uh, the DX is the horizontal speed, DY is the vertical speed, and the actual speed right here is just a number. It's a positive value. I think I set it to two. And sometimes DX is positive two, sometimes negative two and sometimes zero if I don't want it to move horizontally. DY is either positive two, negative two, or zero if I don't want it to move vertically. So DX and DY are gonna change, but they're always gonna equal either positive speed, negative speed, or zero. Create two new points. You do need to do this. I declared them here, but you actually have to initialize them. We will look at constructors very soon. That's what's happening here. Then I move the dot and the target to a random location on the screen. Don't actually draw them yet. Uh, before I was testing it out, I was printing out values so I could actually see what values they had. Here's the get instance method right here. That's in the beginning of my while loop. So first thing, if we're in chase mode, we're gonna do something different than if we're not in chase mode. So if we're in chase mode, the dot has to chase the target. So I call this method chase point, and it takes the dot, which you're gonna change the x, y coordinates of the dot. You need the target because you need to know should the x coordinate be getting bigger or smaller, should the y coordinate of the dot be getting bigger or smaller to chase the target. You have to draw the target. Now I have to draw the point too, but we'll cover that in a second. I did also create this label draw label method, and what that does, it will draw the distance between the dot and the target. Now I did one thing here. The distance function from the book returns a double because it uses a square root, which uh, always creates a double. I wanted to just print the integer value. Uh, if you need more precision, you can leave it as a double, but you're gonna get a lot of decimal places displayed. So I just converted it to an integer. So it threw away all the decimal places. So that's chase mode. Else, meaning we're not in chase mode, I'm just gonna move the point. This moves the point randomly different than chase point. Chase point makes the dot chase the target. Move point doesn't care about the target. It just moves the point randomly. You do have to make sure it doesn't go off the screen. We'll cover that later. Here's something different. I labeled the point, And if you remember, it had the X, Y coordinates labeled and moved with the point. So there's a method called label point. And if you notice, all it takes is the dot, that point right there from which you can get the x, y coordinates, which is important to display the x, y coordinates, but also where to position the x, y coordinates depends on the x, y coordinates. So all label point needs is just the coordinates, which we send it dot. The reason I did draw a point down here is because if you're in chase mode or not in chase mode, it doesn't matter, you have to draw the point. But for example, I only did draw a target if we're in chase mode. All right. That was quite a bit right there. No matter what is happening, I slept, 
the panel dot sleep for a delay and you can see that value somewhere up here we'll check the values 10 milliseconds so one tenth of a second uh or a hundredth i don't know uh ten thousands uh so and then i erase the panel we're going to look at what these do but we'll do that later first let's look and see what these are all fields up here they're static fields oops those aren't fields. These are fields right here. All right. The reason I created these up here is if you don't have them up here, if I declare all of these in the main method inside the main, I would have to, I wouldn't be able to access them from the other methods. And what I would have to do is send whichever of these I needed as parameters to these methods. So for example, I use background color when I create the drawing panel. So when I created the drawing panel, I'd have to use background color. Not only that, I'd have to get the graphics object and the panel object. I would need three parameters when I did create drawing panel on this lot of parameters. And likewise, when I, let's see, move to random location, not only would I need the dot, but I would also need the random uh, object to create those random values. Uh, not only that, I would need to know how wide and tall the screen is, the panel, so I would also need to send in panel. So there'd be three parameters I'd have to send in with it. And so what I did instead is I uh, pulled a lot of those fields up here. Those are all colors, and I try to group them in a reasonable way. These are all integer values that are not changing. This is the only integer values that change here, the current horizontal vertical speed. And then this is these are all the graphics drawing panel and that random object. And we will see how those work in some future videos.